Hello everyone, welcome back to the series of tutorials on cyber security. I am Deepak Kunyal and today I am going to discuss the solution of first quiz that we conducted on 15th of August. In this tutorial, I am going to pick report of one of the candidate who correctly attempted 9 questions out of 10. So let's start with first question. The first question is what does the following command does and it's based on grep command. So the first thing here is this hyphen v which is very important and what does this hyphen v do? In case of hyphen v, selected lines are those which are not matching any of the specified pattern and which pattern we are mentioning here unix and linux. So it means we will find out all the lines in a file which do not contain the words unix or linux and you can understand why others are wrong. Coming to second question, given a list of subjects and you want to append an element at the end of the list. So which of the following is correct? So if you try to do this, it will not allow you to do so because in this way, you need to assign an iterable. So you can put square brackets in the beginning and in the end of this element. But still after that, it will assign only that element to this complete list. So after this, this subject will have only one element clear so that's not correct option if you look at the second option it is trying to append element at the end of the list but try it for the list of any length suppose 4 and it's trying to assign element at the fourth index which really does not exist and that's why will give an list index out of range error and due to that it's an incorrect option in this case it is similar to the first part and it will also accept an iterable which is done in this part right so it will append the element at the end so you can run the program and see its output now coming to third question what will be output of the following so we have a subject list here which contains four programming languages java python c++ and php and then we are trying to print out here i have written name list it should be subjects here so subjects and then pick the first element which is python and after that we are applying one more indexing here which will be applied on this python and we are picking minus one that means n should be the answer and here is the correct output now coming to fourth question it is based on cut command and if you look at the file it is etc password file which contains details of all the users the first entry is user name and the last or seventh entry is list of all the cells corresponding to a particular user so we are trying to pick seventh entry which is cell of the user and all the delimiters are based on this colon which is as per the delimiters of this file so we are actually listing out cells for each user and that's why this b option is correct if we would have written f1 here in that case this first answer would have been correct right now coming to fifth question what will be output of the following python code so we have some data here which is a list 239 and then we are trying to use list comprehension so when we are doing this thing x for x in data look at this thing this is very important here so when we are talking about data here and we are putting square brackets around it this means we are putting square brackets around this list right so in that case it's a list of another list clear and the outer list will contain only one element and that is a list which is 239 so when it is saying x for x in data that means we are picking it complete list and parentheses or square brackets around it so it means it's something like this right and we are doing it three times for x in range 3 that means 0 1 and 2 so another one for this and after that another list and all this is created inside our list or these square bracket so this first answer is correct clear if you want to understand this correctly i will run this thing in the terminal for you so i am copying this now see the data then try to check data and square brackets around it now you can see it is a list and it has something around it which is square brackets now check length of data you will see that its length is 3 but when you check length of data and square brackets around it its length will be only 1 and that one length is of this list clear so i hope you understand it now i can copy this thing for you and run it here so you can see this is the correct answer if you remove this square bracket around this data 
then it should be x for x in data that means 2 3 9 inside one list and it will come three times right and everything will be inside a square bracket so run this and here is the answer even if these square brackets are not around this data none of the answer is correct clear but with this square bracket the first answer is correct so now moving to sixth question please fill the blank at statement one so that program prints Fibonacci series starting from zero so program of Fibonacci is very simple in Python so when we are having two variables a and b one is starting with zero and another with one and we want numbers from zero so we are printing a first so every time we are going to print a right so that means now we need to change the values of variables and if you look at these options only this seems correct we are assigning b to a and a plus b to b so this option b is correct now coming to seventh question it's a very important question and i will tell you why it is important so if you look at this we have a loop outside so it's running starting from 2 and going till triple nine if you look at the option it is listing even and odd numbers so this is not the program for even and odd so first option is not correct of course list all the prime number and non prime so if you look at these three options you can understand that this program is talking about prime and non prime only right but now we have to look at the range it is talking about so it is saying that between 2 to n and excluding 2 and n so if you look at this range it is not excluding 2 right it's including 2 so go to second one 2 to n including 2 and excluding n so this seems correct now coming to fourth part excluding 2 and including n so this is also wrong but this seems correct one important thing you can ask here why this else is coming here and can we write else without if so answer is yes in other languages like c c plus or java it's not allowed but in python you can write else with the loops and else just after for or while loop is executed only when the loop is not terminated by a break statement so whenever this loop terminates and break statement is not executed in that case it will print n is a prime number so why it is doing so because loop has ended and it has never said that it's not a prime number but loop has ended that means it should be a prime number if you have ever made the program of prime number you might understand this logic if you don't understand this you can write your doubt in the comment and i will try to clear that okay so now coming to eighth question which of the following statement is false so read this again it is talking about false statement so this is true virtual machine uses software instead of physical computer right so virtual machine like vmware or virtual box are softwares so they are actually using that software right not the physical computer system and that's why we say that it's a virtual thing second option only one virtual guest machine can run on a physical host machine so this is incorrect we can run multiple guest machines over a host machine so we have got the answer but let's read other options also virtual machine allow a business to run an operating system that behaves like a completely separate computer in an app window on the desktop and this is correct whenever you install a guest system on a host it runs like a separate system and it seems like that a separate computer is running clear fourth one vms can run multiple operating system environment on a single physical computer and that's correct saving physical space time and management cost and that's true right now coming to ninth question this is based on grep command and what does this do this is trying to find out this pattern and what is this pattern whenever you see this caret sign that means it says that this is the beginning of the line so we are trying to find out the pattern that begins with this thing and that is dot and then capital P and small p so why we are putting this slash here because we want to escape this dot character otherwise it will match any character because dot matches any character if you if you leave this slash it will match any character it could be a b c d anything right so we want to match dot so that's why we are writing like this clear and you can see the options here so if you want to match this dot we have to write like slash so you can say why this is not correct because it is saying at the end of line but we want it at the beginning of the line similarly all occurrence of the pattern in a line 
not in a line but in the beginning of the line and that's why this c is correct now 10th question which of them is immutable data structure so you already know that list is not immutable dictionary is also not immutable because you can change the values in the dictionary and set is also not immutable but tuple is immutable data structure right so this is how we have covered all the question of the first quiz so if you have any doubt or query regarding any of these questions or their solution please write your doubts or queries in the comments and i will try to respond back so see you in the next video with some new concept till then thank you so much